Let me start with the Browns. How would you describe the atmosphere at Browns camp? I'd say the vast majority of people inside it, including the uh, the heir to the quarterback job this year, Jacoby Brissett, are mostly blissfully unaware and uh, have been, they've done a good job starting with Kevin Stefanski, who basically is allowing Andrew Barry, the general manager in the Haslam's, to handle all this stuff. He's just handling, it's the proverbial control what you can control, Dan. That's what Stefanski's doing. Jacoby Brissett is, when I say he's blissfully unaware, I had a conversation with him. It's all like he just, you know, that's not part of his job, so he doesn't really care. He cares, but he doesn't really concern himself with it on a day-to-day basis. Jimmy Garoppolo joining the Browns. Uh, any traction on that? I think it's unlikely. I don't think it's impossible. I don't think the Browns believe that a quarterback coming onto their team uh, for a significant amount of money early in the year is going to have any impact at all because he won't know the system. He'll have to learn on the fly. You know, he's not significantly better than Brissett in their eyes anyway. I would have thought that uh, I still think they may pick up somebody or trade a seven for somebody if they have to, a lesser quarterback. You know, like Mullins gets traded the other day from the Raiders to the Vikings. That would have been a guy. He knows Kevin Stefanski's system. It's that kind of deal. You know, like a a conditional seventh for somebody's third round, third uh, string quarterback. I, they could do that. Did the Browns make Deshaun oh, no. Watson available? Uh, no, no, I never had a chance to. I never had a chance to talk to him. Uh, so no, I never, I never, I never even saw him when I was in Cleveland. 